untap your full potential with the untapped deck tracker. Both the in-game overlay and the personal stats provide a lot of value. Download it for free today using the link below and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another Explorer gameplay video. Today we are revisiting the Boros Heroic deck, which has gotten a few updates in the meantime, as well as just putting up some impressive results according to the stats on Untapped. It's one of the best performing best of one decks in the Explorer meta game, so I thought it was worth it to take another look. We're no longer playing with Feather in the main deck, so now we can access Gigantha as our companion. And then at one mana, the main addition is Monastery Swiss Spear over Soulscar Mage, so now we have Haste on our one mana 1 2 prowess. And then the game plan is still very much the same. We get to play with a bunch of creatures that benefit from being targeted by pump spells, and most of them will also pick up plus one plus one counters in the process, such as a favored hoplite, which will also prevent all damage that would be dealt with this turn. At two mana, we've got the 10th District Legionnaire, a 2 2 with haste, and whenever we target it, we can scry one in addition to picking up a plus one plus one counter. So, in the case of our many cantrips, we get to scry one before drawing, which is quite useful. And then there's the Illuminator Virtuoso. This is one of the death deadliest threats in the deck if it goes unanswered, as double strike means any plus one counters will double in their damage output, and this can easily close out the game in a single attack if we can pump its power enough. And then with Knife, whenever we target it, we can draw and discard. If we discard a non-land card, it will pick up a plus one plus one counter. And then our final creature is the Dreadhorde Arcanist, can be a great value engine as it can replay our spells out of the graveyard, can even replay our two mana spells if we increase its power, which can also come up. And then taking a look at our pump spells, we've got Defiant Strike as well as Ancestral Anger, which will increase our creature's power and draw a card in the process. Homestead Courage is great as we can flash it back, putting a plus one counter on our creature and giving it Vigilance until end of turn, so we can also play defense with it. And then I'm also playing one copy of Maximize Velocity, just wanted a way to maybe give a creature haste, especially nice alongside Red or Arcanist, so it can replay spell out of the graveyard right away, and also with a Virtuoso, so it can maybe surprise kill the opponent out of nowhere. And Thanks to Jumpstart, we can even replay it out of the graveyard once by discarding a card from our hand, so we can potentially cast it twice in the same turn and pick up a bunch of extra plus one plus one counters. Then there's four copies of God's Willing, incredibly versatile, can save our creatures from removal spells, but especially in a meta game dominated by monocolor decks, this can also be a great finisher. If the opponent only has creatures from a single color back on defense, we simply name that color and then we can attack unopposed. And then our main removal spell of choice, of course, is Reckless Rage, which will also target our creatures so it can grow while dealing four damage to an opposing creature. And if you've ever faced the heroic deck, it always seems like they have at least one Reckless Rage in their opening hand. And then finally, two copies copies of Invigorator to Rampage, which can give a creature plus 4 plus 0 and trample, especially nice with the Illuminator Virtuoso, which can easily one-hit KO the opponent if we target it with Rampage, or we can split it up and target two different creatures to maybe get extra plus 1 counters by giving them a plus 2 plus 0 and trample instead. And then our mana base has only 19 lands, so an incredibly low curve, but our deck can easily operate with only 2 or 3 lands in play, so we don't really need access to a ton of mana, and flooding is definitely a main concern since our only mana sink is casting Gigantha which is not something we want to count on. So we've got a ton of red-white dual lands for fixing, so we can cast all our various one-drops and still maybe have double white to cast and flashback courage in the same turn. So the only card that doesn't help there is maybe the pathway if we need to play it on red early on. And then a two basic planes as well as an Iganjo for added interaction. So that's our deck. Now let's jump in some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the draw, and we've got Hoplite and Virtuoso, even our one-off Maximize Velocity, which might come in handy here. So we'll keep it. Can play Virtuoso on two, or we can maybe wait to give it haste. And in this case, also protect with God's Willing if we're up against black mid-range. Opponent seems to have a fatal push. And takes out Hoplite. Alright, this is one of our hardest matchups. Combination of removal, discard. So can play Virtuoso on two. And now we give the opponent time to develop their own game plan. Harvester already an answer to Virtuoso. So I might wait until four mana so I can play it, put some counters on it to get it out of range from Harvester and then still have God's Willing up. Although if our opponent has a Liliana, they can still make a Sacrifice Virtuoso anyway. Croxa makes his discard and... Could get rid of Maximize Velocity so we don't take damage. Then if I'll need to cast it twice.
Alright, Swiss Spear gives us another creature we can play in the meantime. So let's say we play Swiss Spear. And then just hit for one. And then next turn play Virtuoso, maybe with haste and God's Willing Protection. Opponent does have double hive, which can exile velocity, so we want to make use of it before they do. Opponent's going to stomp Swiss Spear. So we could try and save it with a pump spell here. And then still keep God's Willing around. Opponent has a fatal push. So be it, we get that out of their hands. And if they use Harvester, that's fine too. So yeah, I guess it's worth it here. Pump Swiss Spear. Even though Rampage on Virtuoso could output a lot of damage. If we don't have any creatures left, then it's also not particularly useful. So our opponent will use the Harvester. And now maybe the coast is clear for Virtuoso. This card probably defines strike as much as I want to cast it here and hit for six and cross our fingers that there's no Liliana of the Veil. Bone goes digging. They're pretty close to escaping Croxa. Just plays a Bone Crusher. Okay. Define Strike is a good draw. Start there. And another Define Strike, so we might be able to close out the game here. If our opponent had another Fatal Push, we probably would have seen it by now. And we can uh, Reckless Rage as well if we'd like, instead of God's Willing. Sure, don't think it really matters at this point. So we can Reckless Rage kill the Bone Crusher, or we could God's Willing name Red to attack past it. And then discard the Homestead Courage, and yeah, that does it. So despite a great start from Red Black midrange, we managed to keep a Virtuoso around, which carried us to victory. Okay, we're on the play, and we definitely need a second land. As is, I don't think we can keep. If we had a mountain, this hand would be pretty good. Alright, now we've got all creatures, no spells, to enable the various synergies. So I don't love it. Might have to go to 5. This one's probably the best one so far. And then, I don't think I can afford to keep God's Willing. Just hope the Legionnaire survives and play a few cantrips to grow it. And take it from there. Opponent with turn 1 officers, so mono white. At least they shouldn't have too much removal. Not gonna attack. Hope not to see a Thalia, since that's gonna tax all our spells here. And there's a Thalia. Okay can start growing the hoplite at least. Do we attack with legionnaire? I guess we do. If they block we can pump with defined strike. If not hoplite can stay back. And we can grow the hoplites. Initiates is fine. And a lieutenant so that's gonna pump their whole squad. Although we can still block Thalia profitably here. Since Hoplite will prevent all damage. And now with Thalia gone, it's going to be easier to deploy our spells. So step one Anger on Legionnaire. Or we can maybe Scry first a little bit more. Let's say go for a Homestead Courage so we keep it back on defense as well. 
And another Homestead Courage seems pretty good. Although we might have to dig for some removal in case of a Brutal Cathar showing up. Close call. Homestead Courage does give us a lot of ways to spend our mana at least, so that's what I like, but we are stuck on double whites, so it's not like we can necessarily cast a ton of those. So we'll bottom. And then Anger on Legionnaire. Another Hoplite, probably too late here. Find another Anger, that's good. So Anger the Hoplite now, I think, and Smash. Okay, and then we could still Define Strike. Do I need to Homestead Courage Hoplites? Sure. We'll give it Vigilance. And now we've got two equally large threats, so if a Brutal Cathar shows up, we can still uh, have one left over. Skyclave instead. So that must be in addition to Brutal Cathar. Okay, let's go for Defined Strike, in case we find some Sorcery Speed, Pump Spells. And a Virtuoso. It's not as good as finding, let's say, another Ancestral Anger here. It is insurance in case of more removal, although I can also put Giganta in hand if we miss. So I think I would rather dig for a card that actually wins us the game. Even though Virtuoso is a way of discarding Vantage, but if I want to put Giganta in hand, I might actually play it out. And draw another Vantage, so not ideal. So if I attack, they can pretty easily triple block. But then we also reduce their synergies. Problem is, if they have a Brave the Elements, they can keep their entire team while killing a Legionnaire. So digging for a God's Willing is probably our best bet. So even Jigantha can cross the finish line with protection from white. So we'll hang back. A Luminarch, that's fine. And no attack, a Rampage, that's huge. So Brave the Elements, still potentially a problem. Opponent has how much toughness here? 8, 9, 10, 11. So can get it up to 11 power, but then it would soak up the entire attack and still kill Legionnaire. So for now I think we're better off playing Gigantha. And then I could keep Vantage in hand, don't see myself needing a ton of mana. And we might end up discarding it to, let's say, the uh, Virtuoso Kunai, or maybe if we pick up the Jumpstart card. Alright, now our opponent's empty-handed, so now we know the coast is clear. They can still make a human here, which will grow lieutenants. But now Rampage could be a lot more effective. They can also activate the Officer to find more action. So we need to try and end the game quickly. Initiate will add a ton more toughness as well. And a Defined Strike is a good starting point. Could also Rampage first, although that kind of gives away our entire game plan. Just so we can scry first and maybe find more pump spells before drawing. I think we keep Rampage a surprise, in case they don't play around it, still digging for a God's Willing. Hoplite can go. And there's God's Willing, so that should do it. Protection from White's attack. And that's game. Alright, so it was kind of sketchy there for a second after they played the Skyclave Apparition, but luckily we had enough of a powerful early start and recovered nicely from our Mulligan 2-5. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. We've got a one lander. And uh, yeah, really need two lands for this hand to be functional. If we play Swiss Spear using red mana, then we can't cast anything. Yeah, on the draw, this might have been borderline keepable on the play. I think we need to mulligan. Well, this is pretty single minded, but if Legionnaire survives, it's not the worst. Opponent on a blue deck, and yeah, Mono Blue Spirits typically doesn't have one mana counter spells for creatures. So, this should be good to go. Attack for two, and then hope to dodge bound spells to reset all the plus one counters. Shacklegeist tapping our creature repeatedly would also be a problem, but we have a Reckless Rage. So, 
yeah, this is one of the better matchups to have kept the hand we did. Curious Obsession, okay. So they could still have the one mana counter spell if they control Spirit and Enchantments. So what's our first step? Maybe a Defiant Strike to try and hit our land drop. And then we can still try and Reckless Rage. Ancestral Anger. It is nice, but I think I'm better off just drawing a land so we can actually deploy Homestead Courage. And there's a land. Okay, so let's go for Homestead Courage. And a God's Willing. Do we want that one? Protection from blue to attack past any blockers. Maybe save us from a Bounce Spell. It's not bad. I think I prefer finding more cantrip effects. So maybe I still bottom. But it's a close call. We'll hit for six. And then... Could try and Reckless Rage now. Think we might do it in their upkeep. Okay, they didn't have any effects end of turn. Now, of course, they could have access to some two mana counter spells. Do we wait for them to draw? Or do we Reckless Rage now? I think I should Reckless Rage now. Bonus Spell Pierces, alright. So that would have gotten us last turn as well. And then do we want Ai Ganjo? Can play a Legionnaire and then cast a bunch of Courages. That's probably fine to keep then. Can also channel it if needed. So our opponent's gonna get more card advantage, but we're gonna try and kill them very quickly, so it doesn't matter. We made them waste one mana in their turn by playing it at instant speed. Mausoleum Wanderer can maybe get in the way, so making an extra large creature is probably wise. Opponent might have the one mana counter here. Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's move all in on this uh, Legionnaire then. Maybe flashback first, give away less information. And at this point, they're already pretty incentivized to chum block with a Wanderer, so I don't know if I need to play another Courage here. Might be overkill. Still in trouble if Shacklegeist shows up. Not sure if I need to keep Igunjo in hand for that. Opponent chumps. The fact that they chumped makes me less suspicious of Shacklegeist in our future. Don't really see myself channeling Iganjo in the near future. So I'll probably play it out here in case I need the mana next turn. So we'll take two. And then we want to find, at this point, a God's Willing would be pretty good. Ancestral Anger. So... Where do we start? Defiant Strike, probably. Could also just move to combats, but uh, might find some sorcery speed spells we want to play. Hoplites. Is diversifying worth it at this stage? We're at 11. Opponent can make quite a few chum blockers, so maybe it's not the worst idea to have an extra creature in play. Sure. So we'll attack. Opponent has to respect another instant speed pump spell. That so are gonna chum block with the rattle chains, perhaps. And then play Hoplite, which may get countered. And yeah, opponent can definitely keep feeding us an extra creature that uh, chum blocks every turn while drawing cards with Sailor, so that's the concern here. Do I play in Flashback Courage? I can definitely play it on the Hoplite to at least grow it a little bit and free up one mana next turn. Although if they have a counter spell up, then it's kind of wasted, so I'll pass. So no additional creatures. 
Sailor down to nine. Draws. Opponent's got pretty full grip here. Combat Research, second main. Okay. And there's a Reckless Rage. That one's unlikely to resolve, but uh, yeah, it will force a reaction from our opponents. In the meantime, we'll encourage the Hoplites to start growing it. Flash it back, why not? Best case scenario, our opponent animates Faceless Haven and we can just kill them. Another Rattle Chains. So do we try and kill that in response? Opponent likely has the counter. Could Reckless Rage trying to kill Sailor, but if it works then we can just win the game by killing Rattle Chains potentially. They could flash in another Spirit now that Rattle Chains in play. Or we can just let this slide and then keep the Reckless Rage for next turn as maybe an extra surprise and then we may be able to pay for the conditional counter spells. I think we let them chump. So no additional spirits, which makes it very likely that they have a couple counter spells in hand. Hoplite blocks Haven at least. And yeah, we'll take two. Opponent will get to draw. With another pump spell, we can have two lethal threats. That's not it, sadly. Probably still worth it to play untapped, just so we can pay for a conditional counterspell like Lofty Denial. Although if I take two, down to five, we're within range of a Haven and Sailor killing us. So that's not ideal. So maybe playing it tapped is still the way to go. Although it feels like if we don't win this turn, we probably just lose. Since our opponent's gonna have so many extra cards to work with. So, sure. Shock myself, attack. And see what they do. Animate Haven. Okay. So before they get a chance to block, we want to try and kill it. And then... Target Hoplite versus target Legionnaire. Might as well get this cry. Can pay for Lofty Denial. So that's why playing the land untapped helped. And yeah, now our opponent's tapped out, so... I think we got there. Incredibly close game. Oof, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw here, and we've got a ton of creatures, not a lot of pump spells, which could be a problem. We do have a Legionnaire and Virtuoso, which can give us a bit of card selection at least. So it may still be worth keeping, but it's certainly borderline. Yeah, I think we need to mulligan this. Well, this hand is not a huge improvement, but at least a fine strike draws. So we can try and keep this, and then... Do I get rid of a Foundry or a Legionnaire is the question. Probably a land. Typically don't need more than two. Going on green-whites. And our point on green-whites, Angel life gain. It's a pretty tough matchup. Um, don't have a great attack here either. So we need to try and find a Reckless Rage as soon as possible. Can go for a Defiant Strike and then maybe still Homestead Courage. And then next turn Legionnaire, Flashback Courage, can attack past for toughness. Dealing damage when there's a Bishop in play doesn't really get us there. We need to build up a huge creature and dig for a removal since Valkyrie is going to take over otherwise. So what if we play Legionnaire and just attack and then we define strike accordingly? That may be better. 
So now our opponent needs to respect an instant speed pump spell. So we'll define strike on Legionnaire. Although, even if we find a Reckless Rage, it may already be too late. Don't think we'll need a God's Willing, even though God's Willing on white is maybe a way to attack past any blockers. Ancestral Anger. Opponent falls to 11, but... Opponent's about to gain a ton of life here. And a Collected Company has to miss for us to have a chance. Doesn't seem to be the case. A Righteous plus a Resplendent, that's about as good as it gets. So yeah, this game seems very much over now. Take 11, opponent gets another token end of turn, which will gain approximately a million life. So it can give both protection from white, but our opponent's at 49 life. So I don't think we'll get there. Let's fight the good fights. I Ganjo, if we keep, we can still flash back Courage. And we'll see how much damage we can deal, but it's not going to be enough, I can tell you that much. Another Homestead Courage, sure. Okay. Well, that's uh, 14 damage. Still a long way to go. And our opponent can deal the finishing blow here. So yeah, sometimes you just need a Reckless Rage on the spot. Although in this case, one Reckless Rage probably wouldn't have been enough. So need it a bit more of an aggressive start where we actually put counters on our creature as opposed to having a Swiss Spear. Alright, GG's, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. We've got a one-lander. So, as tempting as it is to keep double Reckless Rage, this seems a bit too sketchy, especially with our only land being Pathway and not an actual dual land. This is, once again, very similar. Can I go to five? I mean, we do get to see an extra card, so if it's a land, we can decide on Pathway. This hand at least has the tools it needs to win a game. So I might keep this. And then, what to get rid of? Either Define Strike or Anger. And uh, probably prefer the Trample over the Instant Speed. Also, we're more choked on white mana with Courage. Turn one else. Okay, I guess Hoplite's the plan now. Might regret getting rid of the Define Strike now. That's something we can actually cast. Another Elves. And a Mystic. A lot of mana. And another Planes. Yeah, that's uh, awkward. I'll just cast and Flashback Courage and start building up the Hoplites. It is going to grow quite large, at least. And then God's Willing on green can push through additional damage. So Mountain of the Top would be quite useful. As our opponent plays Gergroth, yeah, that one uh, can certainly dominate a game. Another Courage is not the worst. So we can make it large enough to block Gergroth next turn. Any reason not to just flashback Courage now means I can next turn attack with Vigilance once again. So I think we hang on to the Courage. And it also keeps shields up on uh, God's Willing. Alright, so now our opponent took it. I think next turn we might be able to just end the game. What a strange game this has been, although Nykthos might have something to say about it. So our opponent's got 9 mana total. Could see a Storm the Festival. Gergroth is attacking, just to maybe gain some life. Nope, to draw a card. Well, we're blocking. They're not going to have the mana to, let's say, play Karn and get a Sky Sovereign to deal damage to finish off Hoplite, which would otherwise be a concern. So your opponent's pretty desperate here. Storm the Festival, that's fine. So the only concern is the opponent presenting a non-green blocker, 
and uh, I've definitely played this matchup from the other side as well, and the Heroic deck always seems to beat the Green Devotion strategy with a well-timed God's Willing to close out the game. So there's definitely a downside to be a monocolor deck when facing protection. Opponent found Troll and Cura, so that can untap Nykthos, but they won't be able to activate it again. Another Mystic. All right, so yeah, God's Willing should do it. And we even drew another one. Protection from green. Go up to eight power. And who needs a second color anyway? Awesome. And get to rank up. So yeah, this Boros Heroic deck, it can sometimes be incredibly straightforward. Just play your creatures, play your pump spells. But other times you need to scry a whole lot and make a lot of decisions on uh, what you potentially want to draw into, and then it can become a very difficult deck to play, unlike some of the other aggro decks in the format. So I think the deck is deservedly among the top tier of the best of one explorer metagame at the moment. Green-White Angels can definitely be a tough matchup as they can easily gain a ton of life to get out of range, and then the Flyers can usually close out the game pretty quickly. So there's definitely still difficult matchups out there, but with a good start you can pretty much beat any deck out there. So that's going to do it for today's gameplay. I want to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.